Okay, well, obviously that didn't work out how I wanted it to. Um, so we're just gonna skip that step. I just ended up installing the flasher on the third brake light because it just wasn't bright enough to go through the 5% tint that I put on there, which I kind of figured would happen, but I'll, I'll mess with that another time. Make, probably make a custom third brake light bar that's super bright that'll go through the, the tint. But now, let's go ahead and move on to the main thing I want to do is install some underglow. So first, we're going to have to go ahead and pop this out so I can see behind here. I want to install a button here for the accessories. That way I don't have to leave the key in. So while I'm parked somewhere, uh, we can just go ahead and press that button. And the, the lights will stay on inside and the outside. And we're good for, with the battery because this Altima is been very uh, good to me. It been such a good. You been you been a good battery. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. For what two years I've had it now, and my alternator has failed on me twice because it's just, it's just a junk. And uh, this thing just lets the car keep going. I know that's a lot of strain for that thing, but it's been a champ so far. That's I need to get a new alternator there too. Anyways, this skin sidetracked ADHD. So. If I feel behind here, uh, some clips. Other side, with one hand. Um, uh, give me a moment. There we go. Pops out. And oh my god, it is kind of a whole cover back here in the circuit board. Oh, can I pop this out without shattering everything? And it's popped out. I can go ahead and put that there for now and drop something. Alright, so the button I'm going to install on this one is going to be the same style as this. Just a toggle switch on the red illumination. You got it right here. God, the sun is so bright. <laughs> just happened <laughs> uh, well it's not the end of the world I, I can fix that look I already fixed it BAM <laughs> just put it in reverse and uh eventually we'll get there alright kept working at it and we got a good fitment now just need to put this nut on the other side put it all together um I will JB both this later once I figure out how I'm gonna pass the wire through here. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Okay, fast forward a few hours. I'm I had to recharge the camera and make some more space, but now I'm working on the underglow kit. Uh, the 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 the. I already went ahead and put the first drip. Got uh these little rubber clamps just to make sure it stays on because I know this 3M is probably not gonna hold up here. It's a very awkward spot, but. I'm hoping to future proof this or when I put my side skirts on they won't get covered But it won't be the end of the world if uh, they do cover them. I'll just Replace them somewhere else, but I wanted to put them here put them here because if I put them right here You're definitely going to see the LEDs uh, If you're far enough to the side, so I want to make sure to hide that because I know a lot of people When they install underglow you just see the LEDs and it just really throws off the whole vibe So anyways uh, I'm gonna run this wire up Ugh. up there you see that rubber grommet gonna run it through there Ugh. gonna be this rubber grommet right here where you take off the seat I'm gonna run the wire through here and then it's gonna go behind the seat to get into the trunk where I'm gonna join uh, the sides and the rear 
underglue. And I guess the front, I'll just leave it alone in the front. Uh, find some wire to tap into over here. But we'll get to that later. Well, I hope it fits without too much uh, sanding. Let's go ahead and start with taking off the original bumper. Well, the footage got corrupted, I guess, because uh, I didn't record that part, but. I got it on. Good job, camera. That's okay, I don't blame you. Damn, I am, I am bright. Well, anyways, the Zenki bumper, uh, or corner lights are like more flat, and this one is the Koki, which uh, is angled on both sides, as you can kind of see here. And the other one's just flat. So I have to get these to match this bumper, which I like these better anyways. And there goes my light. Alright, so you might be wondering why I have no power steering. Well, that's because um, I got no belt. But the good news is I got this nice cool new bracelet. Actually, no, that's my crank pulley and it, it split in uh, two. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not the first time it happened. And um, now I have to wait for a new one to come in. Let this be a lesson to all y'all. Time and time again, uh, don't buy cheap parts because they will break on you. Especially if you're gonna track this. It's fine. So yeah, I went ahead and ordered a fluid amper, which is gonna be an unstoppable force, something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. But final bout is gonna be in a week from now. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take this car over there, but that's the plan. And I hope it doesn't leave me stranded, but uh, I'm going to put a good part on there and hopefully everything stays intact. I still got to adjust the alternator because it pokes out a little bit. This ear right here, I got to shave that down just a tad bit so it sits uh, more flush with everything. Because if you look closely, the alternator shifted forward a little bit. Which is probably what uh, helped uh, break that uh, harmonic balancer. So while I wait for this part to come in, I'm going to go ahead and just start removing the radiator. Uh, drain the fluid into a catch can, that way I can reuse it and not just throw away all the antifreeze. And then I'm probably going to take out the alternator and start shaving that down. And then eventually we're going to get the new hard rock balancer and I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Also I just realized you guys haven't seen this car in a while 
And uh, yeah, you're seeing correctly, it does have a body kit now. And guess what? I tried recording, putting on the bump bumper. Uh, halfway through the recording, I guess it wasn't recording anymore, so I lost that footage. And then we went ahead, my buddies came over and helped me install the rest of the kit. And we didn't record, so the car is a kit now, and I have I don't have any video of it. So I went ahead with this like Trom style kit. Looks pretty sick. The wheel fitment in the front is still kind of lagging. Uh, eventually, I'll get arms to the rear to fix that camber. And also, another big uh, reveal is damn! Look at that. Somebody hit my car. I was just at a at a class in another city, and um, I came back, and yeah, there was a huge ass dent in my car. Right after I put on this body kit, they didn't leave me any notes or anything, so now, now I got that to fix. Because I don't really feel like paying someone to fix that. I like, I like learning stuff myself and maybe breaking a few things in the process. The sun is so harsh right now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, take things off. I can't see anything. <laughs> All right, well, I we went ahead and shaved down the alternator. About like five millimeters. Pretty good cut for not having proper equipment. And um, it's all smooth, smooth out now with a file. But it's gonna make it sit a lot better. Not perfect, but a lot better. So it should, it should be damn near perfect. Now that that's out, um, I just gotta wait for the new fluid amper to come in. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the bumper. Because I need to install these uh, Koki uh, turn lights. Because you can see these ones are more like square, and these ones are more angled. Now, I always wanted to do the Koki uh, turning lights, and this bumper is a Koki. So, I just gotta uh, make this hole bigger. I just had the bulbs coming out through there. Uh, gotta make it bigger and make sure they fit in there. That way I can have some proper lights in there, not just some hanging bulbs. And a little funny side note, um, a couple days after receiving these, I dropped them and chipped the corner there. And I glued it back into place. <laughs> but I also noted, over here on my original light, on the same side, I also have a chip. I don't even know how that happened. Probably rock got kicked up. But I just thought that was funny. I guess it was just meant to be uh, broken on that side. Anyways, let's go ahead and start drilling some holes and filing this down to make this fit. That's the wrong side. Alright, so it's the next day and uh, here we go. We got the fluid amper in. Look at this thing. Man, look at that. Uh, quality part going on my Jay-Z. <laughs> Must be nice. But you know you know what happens when you put nice parts in your car? It's, uh, something else breaks. So. Whatever. We're just going to not waste any more time and go ahead and put this thing on. Put the, the car, yeah, whole car back together. I can't speak. And then we'll, uh, we'll bleed it. And yeah. Take it for a ride. 